Hi, um, the tool is uh, ready now. Using this tool, uh, what we can do is we can uh, do a list of the files, copy the files or move files from one folder to another folder, from one location to another location. You can use this tool also to copy from the shared folders, shared drives, so in the network folders, network paths, yeah, you can use it from copy from one location to another location. Now let's see how this tool works. The first thing is listing of the files. The, this has a three features. One is we can create list of the files. We can copy the files from one location to another location, from a folder and subfolders, or we can move the files. In the move, in the copying and listing, we can even specify the file extensions. If you just wanted to list out the files uh, stored in a folder that has the extension, say JPG files, you can list them only JPG files. Or you just need a text file, so you can just specify it's a text file. So similarly, any file extension you can give it, and it will work. Now what I will do is for showing here. I'll just uh, say I need xlsx files only and my source is I created one source here as you can see this one C folder C, go, C drive temp folder I created a source folder I copied uh, some of the text files and uh, xlsx files okay um, and it also has a subfolder source subfolder it has some jpg file csv file xlsx files now what i'll do is uh, i just wanted to list out only xlsx files in the source folder only in this folder i just have one two and three files here so for a, for a demonstration purpose i used only this much but you can have hundreds of files here it will go into list so now to list only in the source folder we should get a list of three files only uh, so i am not including the subfolders here it's only the main folder i click on create list uh, i have checked this one list all files no filter so for that reason it has listed all text files also so now i'll take out that option I just need xlsx files only so I'm clicking on create list I will get only these three files so going to the next uh, I'll uh, again list only the xlsx files but include the subfolder also so here we have three in the main and in the subfolder we have uh, only one xlsx file not the xls xlsx file so we should get uh, one more file here so i'll just click on uh, you can see there are four files you can see there is a subfolder source sub proposal template file is added so similarly if we don't want uh, filter whatever we entered here so let's try with the text files so if we enter text file it will only list the text files that we have there are uh, four text files in the source folder so we have included subfolder but there are no text files in the subfolder it only has four in the main folder so this is how it works like listing whatever the files that we have listed down those files we can copy it we can apply the copy feature to copy these files only to the destination folder. Now what I'll do is I'll let us let us only copy these text files, txt extension files from the source to the destination folder. So what we just need to do is in the tool, we just have to select the destination here. So this is the destination from this folder. We're going to copy the files into, into this folder applying the filter only the text files to be copied and include subfolder include subfolder folder to folder there can be hundreds of folders within the folder you can see uh, this is a source it has one subfolder it can have more than one further subfolders uh, sub 2 
and it can have uh, one more text file let's create one blank text file so it will pick up from any level of subfolders so right now there is no files in the destination and we are asking the tool to copy the text file one two three four files we have and in the sub to subfolder there is one text file so we should get all these five files to be copied into the destination so let's see let's um, do it let's copy them so now we have set all text files copied from the here including search in the subfolders also then copy them i put a breakpoint okay total files copied to destination folder is 5 total files listed is 5 so now let's go back and see the uh, destination folder now you can see this destination folder source folder it's copied to the destination folder all these five files are copied now what i'll do is i'll just delete because this is just a copy not the move we did not move the files or uh, to keep it clean let me copy this uh, clear this one what we'll do is let us uh, say uh, do not apply any filter now let us create the list you can see there are 16 files listed from the source subfolder subfolder source source sub sub to the text document so all these files are listed um, now uh, what we do is let's move them to the destination folder let us move all those files into the destination folder prior to that let's go and remove all the files it's already clean the destination folder is already clean and source folder has all these files now after we move these files it should not all these files should not be available here so now i'll click on the move files so it gives me a pop-up warning that uh, once the files are moved we cannot redo it so but we can redo it using the tool but again the tool will going to copy all these files into one folder only so not into the separate them and put it into the different folder from where it is moved so we should be very careful before using this feature so once the files are moved from there so you will not see them those files there in that particular location and all these files will be moved into the uh, defined uh, where it has to go uh, the destination it will all be moved into one folder it will not create the hierarchy of the folders here we're going to move all of them into one folder and if there are uh, duplicate names a main folder has a file of x.y and a subfolder has a x. say main folder has a x.txt and subfolder also has a file of x.txt it will not going to overwrite it will retain the main folder file only so this file will remain at the uh, it will remain there in the uh, same same folder source location itself it will not move them so similarly in the copy feature it will not going to overwrite the files that are already there in the destination file so now let us move them i'll say yes so there are 16 files moved so now let's see in the destination uh, folder now i'll go and see the destination folder has all these files in one location and now we can see in the source folder you won't see any files here it's all moved so that's all the demonstration of this file if you have any queries please feel free to contact me or uh, you can write to me for any of uh, the changes or uh, any changes for this tool if you want it you can feel free to uh, contact me we will be glad to do it thank you very much